Hi there and uh, welcome to uh, our tutorial on using VLOOKUP to categorize data. Um, just to give you an example of the sort of thing that we're trying to do, um, what I've got uh, on this spreadsheet in front of you um, is a list of people and let's imagine that they're entrants in a running race and that there are, I don't know, a number of age categories that uh, you might be able to win prizes on. So we want to categorize them into age bands. And this is quite a common problem um, that you want to uh, that you want to try and uh, resolve. And what we're going to do, I mean, we could we we could write an if statement that says, you know, if it's less than thirty five, then um, put it in this category. Otherwise, if it's less than forty five, put it in this category. Otherwise, if it's less than fifty five, put it in this category, etc. Um, the more categories you get, uh, the harder it is to actually read the if statement and write it correctly. Uh, and it's really very hard to maintain as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use VLOOKUP to uh, achieve the same thing in a much more elegant way and a much more maintainable way. So here's my set of age categories. I've got a, a, a separate sheet um, with a list of age categories. Um, and the way this is set up is I've got the, the left-hand column um, is the numbers at the bottom of each of the categories. And you'll see why in a minute. It's to do with how VLOOKUP works. and. Uh, um, so it's the number at the bottom of the age category. And you can see I've got the category descriptions uh, next to that. So I'm going to have to refer to this range in the, um, in the VLOOKUP formula. And it's going to be easiest to do if I name it. So um, naming a range, just highlight the range you want to name. In this case, I'm going to name the two entire columns. And I'm going to call it age categories. And if you haven't named a range before, as you can see, it's very simple. You just highlight the range you want and you um, type in to the name box, which is this box here, uh, the name that you want. Now, um, you notice that I haven't used a space character. You're not allowed to use spaces in names. Uh, I've used an underscore here. So you type the na name in, hit enter, and uh, there we are, that range is named. I can now use this in exactly the same way as an absolute cell reference uh, when I refer to it in a uh, formula. So let's go back to uh, the spreadsheet where we want to write the VLOOKUP. Uh, and I'm going to start just by typing equals VLOOKUP, open brackets, and of course we get our help prompt underneath where we're typing. gives you the uh, the function name, uh, and that, as you can see, is a link, and that links to the help file if you need more help. Open brackets, and then stuff in brackets separated by commas. And in this case, the stuff in the brackets is, um, there's four things in the brackets potentially. We're only going to use three of them at the moment. Um, I'll do a separate tutorial on, on the fourth one. Um, we actually only want to use the three at the moment, so we'll just use the three. So what am I looking up? Well, it's whatever's in the age column, so I'll click on that, and it, as you can see, it's put the, th the cell reference in for me. Where am I looking it up? Uh, well, um, I've already named that range, haven't I? So I'm just going to start typing, typing the range name, uh, and as soon as I start typing the name, I get this drop-down list. At least in Office 2007 and above, I get this drop-down list. If you're using 2003 or earlier, um, you can still do the same naming process, um, but you don't get this helpful list. You have to remember what it's called and type it in. But because I'm using 2007, I get it on a list. I can double click and put it in. And the third thing in the brackets, so th those two things separated by commas, the third thing is uh, when it finds what it's looking for, how many columns should it count across? Well, if you remember, our table had only two columns in it. The first column was um, the age breaks, and the second column is the description of the uh, um, the category. So I want it to count two columns across when it finds it. And that's VLOOKUP. Hit enter and you can see what's happened. It's now um, taken the age 36 and put it in the right category. And if I copy that down uh, you'll see it apply all to the, all the others. Now a quick copy is, um, so this, this black square here is autofill. You can drag it as far as you like but if you've got a lot of data just double click on it and double click fills it down as far as the data goes. So let's have a look at a particular um, example. Um, well, let's take the first one, age 36, here we go. So um, let's see how VLOOKUP's working on that. It's looking that number up, 36, in the age categories and counting two. So let's, let's just go through that process. So first of all, it's looking up the 36. And where's it looking it up? It's looking it up here. And the way it works is it goes down the left-hand column uh, until it finds a number that's equal to or bigger than uh, the number it's uh, looking for. So in this case, 35 is not big enough, so it keeps going. Um, gets to 45, says, so, ah, that's too big. Uh, and once it finds the, the the entry that's the first entry that's too big, um, it then goes back up one and picks that 
line, and that's why this column uh, is the bottom end of the uh, of each of the categories. So 36, it goes down here, says, ah, that's too far, goes back up one, and then counts one, two columns across. And hey presto, there we are. Now, that's how VLOOKUP works, and what, what we've done there is, as you can see, is we've just very simply categorised all of our data um, into those relevant categories. Now, I mentioned at the beginning that it was very good um, for maintaining your categories. Now, let's suppose that we change this uh, these age categories, and it's no longer 17 to 34, maybe it's 17 to 29, um, and then 29 to 44. Well, all we've got to do is change this number here to 30, um, you'll see I've got a, a, a clever little bit of formula that changes these descriptions. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, you can type them in manually, or you can uh, you can use a clever little formula that actually automatically generates them. Um, but what's happened now is that a um, a uh, a thirty-year-old should now be in this second category, not in the top category. And so, if we go back here and look, find a thirty-year-old, or a, uh, let's see if we've got any thirty-year-olds. There's a twenty-nine-year-old is in that category. Um, this 35-year-old uh, still in that category. 33-year-old was in the um, uh, 17 to 39 category. 36-year-old was in the 17 to 39 category. He's now in the 30 to 44 category automatically. So you change these du these numbers here, change uh, your descriptions obviously uh, as appropriate, uh, and then everything automatically updates in your data. And that's one of the big advantages of using VLOOKUP. Now, if you want more information, do feel free to contact us. Um, you can find our details through the website, www.ooth.co.uk. That's O-O-T-H dot co dot UK. Um, and we can arrange some bespoke uh, um, sessions for you if you need to. Uh, so there you go, categorising data with VLOOKUP. Uh, I hope that's been useful for you. Um, if, you need it, if you've got any more questions, do feel free to get in touch via the website. Thanks very much.